All right, uh, here's the story. One mid-state school is now helping students with learning differences thrive in the classroom. Now, this is seven-year-old Ethan. Check him out. Following bird's feet, dropping to all fours. Now he's following arrows and footsteps. This is all part of a new sensory hallway that's added to the Edison School in Gallatin. We've got kids that have anxiety just being around other students. We have kids that um, when they're learning, they need to be up and moving. So sitting in a traditional classroom is not going to work for them. So I talked with head of school. This is Dr. John Wilson right here, who saw videos with a similar hallway concept in Canada. So he brought it to life here. All students at the school use this hallway at some point between classes, and teachers are noticing a big difference. They're definitely more focused. They're more engaged in what they're doing. If they had any sort of fidgetiness beforehand, that's gone. And that just gives them the distraction from what was going on in the classroom. And it gives them time to even decompress some before they even make it to the room. Mom Leslie Redmond right here says for Ethan, it's made a world of difference and she'd love to see this in every school to benefit even more children. So far, Dr. Wilson's Facebook post on the sensory hallway getting lots of traction right now within just days viewed 185,000 times and so many parents can relate with this oh, because you know it. their kiddos have different, you know, they're mm -hmm. learning differences as yes. they like to call them and they're just like this is something that's really getting everybody's attention because it's between classes. Yeah, it can be hard a for a, a child to sit there in a class the whole time. And Focus. sometimes they need to get out and move. And, and like you said, a lot of them are different. So what a great idea.